exactly 40 year, 40 years ago. On this day, I was sitting on that rock in the middle of the Ganges River in the Himalayas. It was the month of January of 1971. At that time, I was alone. I had nothing. except one thing. I believed that God would help me if I was sincere. Whoever we are, wherever we're from, whatever we have done or not done, Krishna will help us if we are sincere. When I was sitting on that rock in the Ganges 40 years ago, sometimes I would think, how my parents' hearts were totally shattered by what I was doing. That was the time I wrote them a letter. I'm living a cave, living in a cave in the Himalayan jungles. Because I had to be honest. And sometimes I thought on that rock, is my heart harder than this rock that I'm sitting on? That I'm doing this to people who gave their life, their soul, their everything to help me in every way they knew how to do. But I believed very deeply that if, if God, whoever he may be, if he is pleased by my sincerity, he will compensate. And he will bless them. He will give them the understanding and the appreciation. And he will give them grace. What a beautiful experience it is to my heart to see how Krishna has done just that. Krishna tells in Gita, Ananyas chintayanto mam yejana paryupashate that if we just approach him with sincerity, the Lord will carry what we have carry what we lack and preserve what we have. That concept can be extended in many ways. One is, if we please Krishna, just with our sincere and earnest effort, then all of our hearts desire for the welfare of others can be fulfilled. And today, the friendship I have with my father is, and my brothers, and previously with my mother, was deeper and greater than 
ever before. And I never had to compromise my spiritual values. And I think this is a serious lesson for everyone. We never have to compromise our spiritual values. But we should follow them in a spirit of compassion. Today, fanaticism, sectarianism, which are just manifestations of nothing but egoism, is so prevalent in spiritual circles. But what Sri Tla Prabhupada and all the great true saints have taught us is we should uncompromisingly follow our spiritual values in a spirit of compassion, in a spirit of being an instrument to encourage, uplift, and inspire people. And if we have that spirit, we can be empowered, each and every one of us, way beyond our farthest imagination. My dear Father, I thank you for your lifelong support care and love. I remember when I was 18 years old, about to go to college. He said, whatever you do, I'm always with you because I love you. I tested that promise beyond his imagination. And not even for a second did that promise ever waver. I thank you.